Yeah, I'm told that's hello in Greek. Boston boy here. Just put together a little bit of a clip for you from my time spent in Athens, Greece not too long ago. A little bit of a tour, a little bit of a food scene. Uh, it was an awesome time there. Had a ball. So uh, hopefully you come along. I'll meet you at the airport and see you in Athens. Eat the world, baby. I just stopped for a coffee, traditional Greek coffee. Um, the gentleman inside told me Ebrick. Okay. So they mixed the grounds in. I thought they were serving me a pile of cocaine. <laughs> it's a uh, powdered milk. So look at that. That's very cool. I hear this is amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no problem. Okay, good morning, Greece, Athens. Seen this market online, it's huge. It's just all over the place. Everything was closed yesterday. So I'm gonna take a stroll, take some videos. This is the meat section, obviously. Oh, what I wouldn't get for a kitchen, a grill, something, look at this. Yes, another dumb tourist, I know. <laughs> I need a kitchen, I need a kitchen. Kitchen. Oh my god. Yes. I just ate and now I'm starving <laughs> looking at all this. Oh my goodness. Hello. I know. I know, dumb tourists. Get over it. <sighs> if you worry, go up all those people that have these stands and you can buy their cameras. It's just, you know. Sometimes I get yelled at. I even got grabbed in, by the throat once in Morocco in Marrakesh. What? Alright. This is uh I'm gonna shut this and take some on the other side. Alright. Took a left. This is just the meat paradise, meat mecca. I'm dying here. I want to cook. I want to eat. Oh my my! Those chart as well. This tripe. Oh. This is like for anybody that's into this, this is like um, I don't know. This is like being at a high-end strip club or something. <laughs> so yeah. Oh my god. Another row here. Meat, meat, meat. The meat mecca. I know there's a fish section, a cheese section, all those. Hello? Hello? Tourist, tourist. Chef from America, though. Pleased to meet you, sir. Yeah, yeah. Well, it looks wonderful. Uh, if I had grill, I would buy. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yep, tourist. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, I was just talking to two guys at one of the stalls in Pakistan. Um, about Pakistan and going there and all, but uh, apparently I can buy meat here, and there's a little restaurant right down here. They'll grill it up for you for $3 a kilo. I think I know where I'm having lunch. So very excited about that. <coughs> I'll definitely be coming back for that. I would do it now, but I just ate breakfast at the hotel. So, all right, let's see what's across the street here. Oh, there's tourists. <laughs> oh, look at the feta. Oh, my, my, my. All the sausages. Oh. I'm gonna die here. I'll probably pop. <laughs> That's better. What I need to do, I need to get myself invited to some little old lady's house for dinner. Some grandma that's cooking. You know? Uh. And just random bird houses. There is a camel salami that I'm looking for. I gotta try. Maybe that jelly right there. I'm gonna check that out in a minute. Birdies. Produce. Okay, so I found a section with the kinds of nuts and dried fruits. The halva here is, I've never seen anything like it. Huge blocks of every flavor. It's just amazing. Oh, there we go. Yeah, wow, wow, wow. Look at that halva. Oh my god. I gotta eat some of that. All right, we're in the fish section. We're gonna piss some people off here. <laughs> Squid covered in the ink. Sardines. Hello. Seafood at our restaurant too. <laughs> I can imagine. Oysters. It smells like so fresh. It was like the ocean. Really. Alright, I'm gonna shut this off here so I can stroll around and investigate. I'll take plenty more videos and pictures. Stay tuned. Enjoy. Stumble across this place, guys. The area right at my table here. I'm gonna do a quick video because I hate being the touristy guy. <laughs> this place is fucking crazy good looking. The menu looks outstanding. Got some fried cheese, got a mixed grill coming. Alright. I'll make sure I take pictures. So this place has been here since 1879. I 
got the mixed grill. I'll never finish this, but oh man. First bite. Oh fuck. Oh man. Eat your heart out. Speechless. All kinds of grilled meat on here and skewers and you wish you were here for this. Yeah. I'm not even saying much, just take it in. Take it in. <laughs> I know I look like the stupid tourist, but I don't care. Oh, fuck. Alright, well. Yeah, you want this. I gotta eat, so bye.
Okay guys, walking around eating as much as I can today, down to my last day and a half. It's got me the moussaka. Oh yeah, but wait for this one. This place is packed with Greek people, so I figured it's good. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that, you got your bread. Yeah, it's all that cheese on top, you got that bechamel. Oh baby. Doesn't get any more real deal than that. You know, that's uh, a little bit of heaven there. So, I'm gonna eat this. And you enjoy whatever you're eating. <laughs> Ciao. So I've only seen these on TV, um, Germany, things like that. So it's a dough, then they're being slowly toasted. I wish you could smell it. And various flavors. Oh, you know I gotta get one just because I've only seen them on TV, so I need one. Okay, cool. So you'd like to see that? This is the Hansel and Gretel store. Candy, candy, candy. Yeah, it smells pretty freaking good. Alright, I'll let you know how it was. Alright, so I was uh, walking by the Hansel and Gretel store. They got the chimney cakes. I've only ever seen them on TV. So I had to get one. Cinnamon sugar. I'm just gonna try it now for later, but it's still hot, so yeah, look at that. Put that down. So, yeah, I've seen these on uh, Bourdain actually. Cat fight. Oh, shit. <laughs> Where's my bag? Live TV is a bitch. <laughs> yeah, really good. Like, um, I don't know, soft on the inside, crunchy on the outside, airy. You ever see this somewhere? Get it. You can fill them full of ice cream too. I'll start with that. Mm. Remember, chimney cake. Ciao. Tonight we're doing a little bed buffet. I've been doing this for years on my trip. I usually do it once or twice. So I'm in Athens, Greece. And just throughout my shopping today, I picked up these items. Some leftover phyllo with the um, sweet cheese inside. This is a feta cheese, but it's the consistency of brie. And... Um, it's really good. It has uh, the aftertaste, the finish taste to it is uh, definitely feta, but it's uh, buttery like brie and uh, same texture as brie. It's really good. Uh, some crusty bread, some sesame breadsticks, some feta dip left over in this from the souvlaki today, and over here we have some chocolate Greek yogurt. So tonight's all about the dairy. I got no meat. I've been eating meat non-stop since I got here. Um, I wish I had some wine, but I forgot that. But I got the H2O. And, uh, oh yeah, we got some awesome cashews. My favorite. So we're going to enjoy some of this. And uh, off to see some of the islands tomorrow. 
um, Acropolis after that next day some good plans trips winding down it's been amazing so I wish you were here to enjoy this with me but you're not more for me <laughs> ciao So my last night on this trip, heading home in the morning, I had to come back to this place one more time. Oh, we got a real Greek salad. Do we get the garlic sauce? Garlic, all, garlic olive oil, mashed potatoes. And I got some lamb chops coming. Yes. And the beer. Love it. Gotta go.